In this video, we're going to be making money with this random number generator right here. We're going to use number one for a buy and number two for a sell. Now, the reason for this video is not to say random num number generators are great. It's to take a little bit of the pressure off the reason why you actually get involved into the trade. A lot of people spend years of their life going down technical anal analysis wormholes, thinking that what a successful trader does differently to them is that they are really good at predicting. And if one thing's for sure, humans are terrible at predicting the future. I've got lots of videos talking about this specifically, but for now, let's actually go ahead and do this. Now, we're going to be using a grid type of risk management system here. So instead of me trying to explain that, I'll explain it as I'm going with examples so that you can just learn it that way. Um, so yeah, so let's just go back to a random point in the time in the past, not the time uh, that I can't see. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to use the ATR. So this is the average true range, which just shows us the average pip movement for a four hour candle. Now I'm going to have it as a very, very long setting, which gives you an average over a long period of time, which is 50. So in other words, it's going to look 50 candles back to get an average of the last 50 candles. It's going to be set to the four hour. Um, and you can see right now, this reading is 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times this by two. Um, at any one point. And if it changes significantly um, from this rough kind of band that we've got here, then I will change it. So for now, we're still very much within this band and the middle point is about 15. If we break out of it significantly, then I will change the spacing and how I do everything. But for now, it is still well and truly within there. So next thing we need to know is, okay, well, how do I, but let's just mark out 30 pips before we decide on the direction based on the random number generator and about 30.1 again just because i can't be bothered doing exactly 30 okay so this is going to give us a buy signal so we're going to go ahead and buy that and you guessed it we're going to put our take profit at about 30 pips which is about 3k okay so what do we do if price goes against us we are going to um scale into the losing position now this comes at a cost as i've mentioned many times on these videos this is not a holy grail but it does have an extremely high win rate the reason for that is because without a traditional stop we have a different way of managing risk it involves a lower position size it involves understanding the mechanics of the system a little bit better so in this case we hit a win great now at this point i click generate again that's a buy again so we're going to buy that again and we've already got the grid spacing and everything lined out. So we can just put that there and just let this do literally 100% of the thinking for us. I'm going to be slow because it's very easy to have a trigger finger here sometimes. Uh, I want it to just come a little lower before adding that buy. That should be okay. Now, once I've entered into that second position, my goal is to get out just basically a tiny bit above break even. Now, the reason for that is because I want to manage my risk and I'd much prefer to get out break even than have price rocket down, you know, and uh, and stop us out. You know, the situations like this are going to be the big risk factor for using a risk management style like this because these are going to be situations where we don't have that little retrace and ultimately this works off the idea that most of the time price is going to have some kind of little retrace and so the period that we've been in right now has been very very nice because it's been very very choppy um, and consolidatory and these this is really the ideal environment for this type of system now the problem is is that it's very difficult to uh predict you know we can't predict um, whether it's, so let's just buy again here. We can't predict whether uh, we are going to always move into a trending, be moving into a trending environment or we're going to stay in a consolidation environment. We just don't know. And so all we can do is react to the present um, and that's it. So for now, we've come down again. It looks like volatility. In other words, the movement of price could be picking up. So that's very significant and something that we should be paying attention to. Um, luckily, we managed to get out of break even here. So let's just go back to our random number generator, click generate. That's given us a two. A two is a sell. Um, we're just going to adjust our levels here slightly. Okay, so that's nice. Had another win there. We're going to go back, going to generate again. Two, so that is another sell. Again, think about all of the things, and I want you to notice all of the different things that you are thinking about where price might go during this time. Just notice how your brain will tell you, oh, it's more likely to do this. And yet someone else who came from a different education background uh, in terms of what technical analysis tools they learned, you know, they two people can have totally different opinions about what price is going to do and both of them can be profitable you know i get comments all the time in videos going oh no i wouldn't have entered here i would have entered there or, i would have entered this or i would have done this or, i would have done this and it's like who cares it's missing the point okay there there is a very little predictive power in technical analysis whereas everyone i think seems to think 
that um, it does. Now, I have seen the odd YouTuber that has spoken about this as well, um, and I'm glad because most people just don't talk about it ever. Um, now, you can also see that the ATR has broken out of this shell over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this now, and I'm going to kind of take a little bit of a higher... Uh, average you know we're still not that much i think 30 is still fine for now i think if we break out kind of to a significant portion out of this sort of a range where we're dealing with 20 then we can adjust it to a 40 pip grid space <clears throat> okay so that's very very nice we've had a nice kind of win streak here so we've just had another one which is a buy uh so now we can adjust that grid pop that on there like this Still within that ATR range. Okay, so have we reached that next level yet? Not quite. Okay, so again, very, very nice. Generate one again. So that's a buy. So just smack that on there. Again, whilst it seems great you know i'm just always waiting for that worst case scenario waiting for one of these type of events to happen um you know and if you're not careful if you're just using a version of this where you use no stop loss now it's like what no stop loss how could that work there are systems that work with no stop loss um but you kind of have to look at the account balance as the overall stop loss and the idea is to make more and withdraw more on the periods where you're winning than the amount that you lose when you're losing so that you know for example if you take a 1k account to 3000 then you blow the account but you've withdrawn the excess 2000 then you've only lost 1000 and made 2000 so you're basically it's just a different way of looking at risk reward essentially um, but again, you do really need an edge to be doing this. Um, and as always, none of this is financial advice, guys. You know, please don't trust your financial future on a random number generator. This is just to make a point for a video. Okay, so generate again, that is a two, which means we're going to pop on a sell. Going to go to the target there. There we go. Um, now we're going to do the same thing again too, which is another sell. Again, think about all of the logic that most people have. You know, most people will look at this scenario and go, oh my God, you know, you're selling the lows. You know, people who are pullback traders are going to be like, oh no, no, that's this is a big no-no, right? -no support. But going through this exercise, and I urge you to do this with with back testing as well, is just it breaks a lot of those beliefs that you have. You know, how often are you really right? All of those little voices in your head, how often are they actually true? You know, right there, it's like that goes against a lot of conventional wisdom for some people. And yet for other people, that is part of their system. They like selling lows, breakout traders, people like that. And so it's like, which school of thought do you listen to? It's like there's literally anything can work sometimes because prices are a lot more random than a lot of people think. So that was two again. So again, we're selling lows. I'm glad we can keep doing this. Just keep selling lows to uh, to to get the extreme example of this. Okay, and then we'll stack if we go against us, which we have here. So we'll sell again. Now the goal would be to get out at break even. Or if we go up, we will stack again, moving our average entry price. So again, we came down very, very nicely. Um, so we're going to generate. So this is a buy. And you'll see, guys, a lot of whether this system actually works is dependent on understanding, okay, am I going to be a in a consolidation-based environment? And that comes to a lot of the time understanding the fundamentals between the pair at that time. Uh, at the end of the day, the closer they are, the more consolidatory it's going to be. You know, you're going to get these big trending environments when you have a real skew, a difference in the data, a difference, a change that causes the prices to, to change so significantly. Now, this is really, really hard to predict because economies here you know are so complicated and even people who have been doing it their entire lives struggle to beat random chance at predicting the future and so it's a really really difficult thing and so it's a very fine balance and it's about developing a very small edge um where we can okay so anyway for now let's just put our target up as normal to around about there okay let's go again generate two so that is a sell let's adjust the grid slightly Okay, so we can sell again there. Goal is to get out of break even. The volatility is rising now. Okay, but we came down to break even again. Generate, that is another sell. <clears throat> do, 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 do. 
Okay, generate again. That's a one, which is a buy. Just the grid. Have we come down low enough yet? Not quite. We're still operating within this same sort of sizing uh, on the ATR, which is why I'm quite comfortable with uh, keeping the position sizing the same, uh, grid spacing in particular. Right, that's come down roughly there. Goals to get out of break even or add again if we go lower. So we did go lower. Okay, hey, so a little bit more drawdown on that one than normal. Um, but uh, again, this happens, guys. In fact, we've been very lucky to have this choppy environment for so long. Um, Euro GBP, you know, currencies that are inherently very similar to one another, you know, Aussie NZD, Euro GBP, you know, these are currencies that are going to generally be more choppy. And therefore, this type of system is going to be more lenient. Why is a random number generator even possible to, you know, do well even in periods? Well, number one, prices are more random than most people think. But also, you know, if you've got economies that are very similar, it means that there isn't going to be as much of a clear direction. Therefore, the value of the entry reason goes down because if you've got a market for example if you've got a stock right that has a clear reason to go higher then this system isn't going to work very well because there is an underlying reason i.e growth of a company which is all a stock is you know that is going to be the driving force of um that's going to be the driving force of what allows it to move in one direction more than the other. And this system is basically capitalizing on the opposite of that when there isn't an underlying reason. And so, you know, if you wanted to dive into the fundamentals of that, you're more than welcome to go and experiment. So we've had one again, which is a buy. Um, instinctively, you know, most people would be looking at this as a sell, I would assume. Um, there we go. Um, so let's wait and see here. Oh, probably just missed that for a second entry. We came up anyway. Didn't quite hit it. Um, anyway, let's just generate again too, which is a sell. Now, what I'm really looking for here, guys, is I'm waiting for this worst case scenario to show up because it's all very well and good me just showing win after win after win, but that isn't really going to be very helpful. Now, in this case, I actually missed the sell here because of my trigger finger and because I'm talking. So what I'm going to do to account for this is you'll see if I just enter once, the average entry price moves in between. Right. But if I enter twice, that will have the same effect as if I'd entered here, here, and here, which is what we missed. So that's going to be more acceptable. Volatility is increasing now. Um, you can see that just because we've had this choppiness and we've had this kind of really one sided movement. Hopefully, this will be that drawdown so we can. Uh, show you a bad example of things not actually working. There is zero value in me just showing you things that appear to be working because the reality of trading is very, very different. Now in this case, yeah, we had a drawdown, but eventually it, it came back. Um, a lot of the time, you know, the reason position sizing is so important with a system like this is, you know, if you're over leveraged, if you're using the same position size you'd use if you're using a stop loss, that's going to be a huge, 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 huge issue. Um, because when you get into this drawdown, it's going to be cumulative because you're selling and selling and selling. And therefore, it's going to be a massive issue and price goes against you. It's going to be very easy to blow an account. The hybrid approach, which I've spoken about in previous videos, using a stop loss as well as a grid. So maybe saying, you know, I'll only stack four positions. And then I'll, if it comes to the fifth, where I would have entered a fifth time, then I will, you know, change things about a little bit. Now, we can see on the ATR, we're approaching the top of this region over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to extend this grid to 40 pips, just because at the end of the day, I'm not in the business of trying to predict how volatile prices are going to be. The only information I actually have to go on is current price. And current price is increasing in volatility. Therefore, what am I going to do? I'm going to increase it. Simple as that. So buy or sell, generate, sell. So let's sell this here. Adjust our grid slightly. We're pretty close. Um, put the take profit down here. Now, in reality, I should reduce the position size. I just want to make that absolutely clear. I forgot to do it here. In fact, I can get out of this here and I can reduce it. So we've increased it by, um, what is that? So what's that? 10, uh, 30, you know, about 33%. So that means that we would reduce this by about 33%. So we'd go down to, uh, basically, believe that's right, 66, 666,666. Now, just to keep the, the simplicity of the video there, that's only because to get from 30 pips to 40 pips, we go up by um, 
by 33%. And so the position size I reduced by 33% so that, and if you just look here, because what we have, we had a sell. So a sell, it should be worth 3000 again when we get down here. So it's not quite, but it's close. In reality, we just want to make sure that even if we increase the grid space, um, we are making sure that the, the value of that uh, position is going to be about the same so just to get that kind of a little bit closer let's just try six hundred and ninety thousand. um we'll flatten that and then sell again as normal see we're definitely getting closer but still not quite there so let's just go 750 oh shit what the hell's happened there why has all of our stuff gone oh well i don't know i think it's Oh shit, it's because we've got to the uh seven fifty minutes. That's annoying. That is very, very annoying. Um, oh well, that's fine. We can still see the value here, so that's okay. For now, let's just change this to seven fifty K um and just be done with that. So we'll sell there. You can see that's a lot closer to three K anyway. Generate number one. So we're gonna buy here. Again, volatility is still on the uprise, so I'm glad that we increased that space here. Uh, so we're going to buy, put our target up here as normal. Okay, random number generator two, which is a sell. And guys, just the key lesson here is this works because Euro GBP during this period of time were quite similar. There will be periods of time such as during this period where they weren't similar and this will fluctuate from different currency pairs right where there will be periods where big changes happen and this will destroy strategies like this however if we look in the past okay how often are these really big aggressive moves if we can survive for these periods and make more during these periods than we lose during these periods all the real question is, is as normal, am I making more when I win overall than when I lose? Now, that doesn't have to be on a trade by trade basis. That could be over a basket of trades. That could be, OK, over 100 trades. Am I winning more during the good periods than I'm losing during the bad periods? Anyway, let's continue going down this train of thought. I'm also being very conscious of looking down at the ATR here. If we then reduce beyond a certain point you know if we get back down to 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 this sort of region then i'll be looking to reduce that grid spacing again for now let's generate again we've got a sell i'm glad this is a sell why because we are selling basically at the lows which for a lot of people again depending on where you came from in terms of what you learned when you first started trading you're going to have some different opinions about selling lows right okay so we're coming up a little bit higher to add on that second sale. Come on. Okay, there we go. Generate number one. So we're buying here. Now, one thing to note, guys, is we've fallen back down within this line. Now, we are now resting about 15. So in reality, I should begin shrinking um, according to what current price is doing. Now, I'm actually going to override this just for this next trade, maybe the next two trades, just because of the way price is moving. This is a discretionary input, guys. Um, but for now, let's just see how we go. Very close. Okay, very nice. So we're going to go and generate again. We have one, which is another buy. And so looking at what we have now here, we're now very, very low. So now I am going to reduce this back down to 30. So look for where this grid space is. All this grid is, is just doing it. So I don't have to manually do it every single time. Okay, so we can go back to the original uh, sizing here. Uh, and what do we have? We had a buy. So buy, uh, adjust the grid accordingly move the target all the way up here and then just wait okay random number generator again number two uh again the volatility is still staying in this little band so i'm going to sell here um as is 
as the random number generator literally told me to. Okay, sell again. I was just waiting for that candle to close. Can take some time sometimes on the four hour testing these. Okay, so now random number generator again, number one, which is a buy. Again, yes, the volatility is increasing, but it is not significant enough yet to change. Um, target up here. Okay, random number generator again. Once we're buying again, keeping everything else the same. We're pretty much close on that on the on the grid anyway. Kind of want some more drawdown examples for you guys. I don't really like it when it's all just wins. I know that sounds ridiculous, but um, it's not a great learning experience if you're just watching me win the whole time. Okay, see, while I was talking uh, with my fat mouth there, I missed this position entry here, um, and I also missed this one here. So how would I adapt in this situation when in real time this would never happen? Why? Because I would be using limit orders. Uh, but to adjust for it in back testing, I'm going to enter twice to account for the fact that I should have been in two positions. It's not a perfect solution, but it gets the job done for the purposes of this. Uh, goals to get out of break even um, as normal as soon as I enter more than one position as prior has moved against me okay so very very decent there generate again number two sell do 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 okay generate again number one buy volatility is still within a rough sort of band here so 30 pips is still fine this was a very nice easy trade um the last few have been and you're going to go through periods of good and bad luck with a system like this um but guys please you know at the very least demo test this back test it don't just copy it because you saw a load of wins on a youtube video that is really stupid okay um you've got to be smart about this guys okay um and I just want to be real with you. I don't want to blow smoke up your backside. Um, so take profit up here. Um, yeah, that's about right. Again, where are we at with the sizing? Yeah, that's still fine. Okay. <clears throat> so we're up about 86,000 right now. We haven't taken a major loss, um, depending on the size of the account. Um, you know, what we really want is we wanted to, and one of the issues with trading view back testing is we really need to go into it with a set account size that we are willing to do if we're willing to do it properly. So we can say, okay, well, this was our account size. And the goal is to make more than the account before it blows if we're not using a stop loss with this system if we are using a stop loss then it becomes a little bit more linear to work out a little bit more traditional the only thing is that using a a calculator to figure out the collective drawdown is going to be really important um, i do have that but i do leave that for for the paid members um just because that's that's fair to them but um you know you're more than welcome to make your own one um if you would like or just calculate it manually which just takes a bit of time um but uh but yeah and guys this is just with random entries if you actually have entry rules that have been tested and that are rigorous the edge actually increases here you know understanding the dynamics of how to change things okay and if you do want more information on those things then feel free to check out the links in the description if not that's also fine um but just understand what type of trader you want to be do you want to be a discretionary trader do you want to be a systematic trader um which style suits you the most Anyway, uh, let's random number generate, which is a buy. So let's buy this here. Volatility is increasing slightly according to the ATR, but for now, let's just play it cool. Okay. So again, we came down there. So we'll just buy there, looking to get out of break even now. Volatility is still increasing. So has it increased enough though? That is the question. No, we're still resting very nicely within our little band, our cute little band here. So we've hit the round number generator and it's given us a sell. So you know what? We are going to oblige. Um, 
Okay, very, very nice. Okay, so scraped our target. And now we have a good opportunity. Volatility has significantly increased. What we've seen here is almost definitely related to the news. We had a forecast of minus 1.6 for the euro, and then it came back as 0.3. This is significantly higher. This is a sentiment reading because it is consumer confidence, meaning people's uh, public opinion and public opinion really matters okay and so what that means is is it means that volatility is about to enter in now in this scenario because of this because of the news because of how it's related i'm only going to sell once whereas i could have sold twice why because it reduces my risk if price continues to bolt ahead of me in reality what i would be doing around this time is i'd probably just cut the loss here why because i don't i would prefer to be fearful of losses than be hopeful of wins because if a loss especially with this system comes in it's going to be a lot larger than the wins uh so it's very very important for me to to keep that uh, keep our head screwed on but for the purposes of this video we're not using a stop loss so this is kind of more of a gambling uh a, not gambling but it is gambling if we're doing random number generator but it's it's not as secure okay um, in this case, we got lucky. It came back. There will be times when it doesn't do this, guys. But anyway, where are we at now? We're about 17. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at increasing the position size uh, shortly. Not just yet, but shortly. Let's generate that again. So that's sell. And then we're just going to move that target down here to about 3K. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far. Let's see if we can get to 100K um, and then we'll probably call it a day. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. So that's two, which is another sell. Target down there. there we go. So we're at 100K, guys. So we had a pretty lucky stream of price here, but this is a classic example of where using the volatility that price gives us. I mean, we've had a very nice period of basically half a year, just under half a year of pretty much perfect market conditions. And I can tell you just from following the same approach, just looking at past over here, this whole period would have been ideal situations. That's how long is that? 180 days, a very, very significant portion of the year. And of course this, it's not always gonna like, look like this. You know, sometimes you're gonna have bad years you know and people don't talk about that they're like oh what do you mean like once i'm profitable i'm profitable it's like yeah but you still have years that don't perform as well um because you can't control the market conditions guys um so if you'd like more help with the specifics of this um you know understanding this risk management style a little bit more as well as just a more traditional stop loss take profit approach uh having systematic copy paste rules we've got tested rules literally um they are back tested and forward tested properly and using uh, using them live and adapting them as, as things change um, in the Discord community, then I would recommend going ahead and checking that out. You know, we do have an offer on there as well. You know, if you test it on demo for 45 days and you can prove that you've actually just implemented it and you're not profitable on your demo, we'll just give you your money back. Like that's straight up. Like we do not want your money if you're not um, going to be at least getting profitable demo results. We can't say go and test it live because that is financial advice, guys. We're not saying that. But if you test it on demo and it's not working and you're proving that you're executing on it and not, you know, being an idiot about it and, you know, kind of cutting losses soon and all this sort of stuff, then, and you're not profitable, then we will just give you your money back. So uh, anyway, guys, shameless plug there because we have a good product and we believe in what we're selling. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. If you like this type of content, let me know. Uh, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back. Um, if you have any ideas for content, guys, I'm always looking for ideas. So let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.